the 2016 U.S. presidential election, the results look something like this, which surprised many people as pre-election polls had predicted it would go a little more like that. Experts are analyzing what happened, but for now, here's some of the math that underpins polling. If we wanted to know how many octopuses and how many ostriches there were in this group, we could count each of them and learn octopuses make up 60% of the population. But it's impractical to get in touch with every individual, so instead, we can sample a subset and extrapolate with statistics. If we look at 10 animals, most of the time we'll count six octopuses. Sometimes we'll get five or seven, but it would be rare to find a sample where only two animals were octopuses. Statisticians have formulas to map this as a curve, where the area underneath the curve represents the probability of seeing that result from a sample of the population. The center of the peak is the most likely result, 60%. But the real number could have been slightly higher or slightly lower due to random chance in the samples we drew. That's called statistical error. Getting more data from larger sample pools decreases that error, narrowing the peak around the likely true value. But there's also another form of error, systematic error. We might be sampling in a way that accidentally captures too many ostriches, or samples the same group over and over, counting the same individual more than once. It can get complicated. Say we want to know if a group of animals prefers orange or purple. If they voted, 62% of the animals would prefer purple. But while octopuses like the colors just about equally, ostriches favor purple. And that makes our polling more difficult. We can test that preference in polling data by using a chi-square, a common statistical tool that tests how likely it is that preference is due to chance. If we assume that an ostrich would have an equal chance of liking purple and orange, and the samples we pulled deviate from that assumption, we can calculate the likelihood it's a real trend among ostriches, not a random fluke. Then, when we see an orange-preferring ostrich in our poll, we can weight it differently, claiming it doesn't represent a typical ostrich vote. Polls can try to ferret out how a population thinks and might act, but the best way to learn these animals' preference is still to have them vote. For Scientific American, I'm Lydia Chain.